So we're approaching Dickstar. We're about to go over the bridge at Sandhurst and we're only a couple of miles away. And at this point, I start to get really excited. It's only maybe three or four years since I was here, but then I was only here for a couple of hours. And it is um, maybe eight years since I stayed here. And it's exactly, uh, my time at Dixter is exactly half my life ago. I was 27 then and I'm 54 now. So it's a big moment to return here. And uh, every bit of the road is just so familiar to me. Uh, I can feel the kind of building pleasurable nervous tension. How are you feeling, Ash, right now? How excited are you? Oh, it's rubbing off. It's <laughs> rubbing off, no doubt. It's fair to say I've heard a fair bit about this place. Uh, he must be so sick of me going on about it. I can't <laughs> believe he's just had a two-hour monologue. I reckon in the two hours there might have been two prompting questions in there and the rest of it was just pure monologue, but we're nearly there. So we just turned into Dixter Lane. Oh, golly. <laughs> It is so fantastic. I'll swing it around so, uh, one, I can record this experience for myself, but so you can kind of see what it's like arriving at Dixter. Oh dear. Golly, look how tall this stuff is. This is unbelievable. Uh, wobbly. And, uh, uh, the bumps. Yeah, you're down here. And, and there's the entrance. 